Uh... Oh, he's... Ah, oh, he made a little happy face. He has to be a good guy, right? They seem to have their own language. You're no Zerk. We're not familiar with your kind. You are welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. What? How do they not know what a cat is? Also, who can eat them? They're robots. so scared oh it's a little like butler robot it's the guardian you look lost what do you need a picture of the outside ridiculous this elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows that this that it is impossible to leave this place. Well, except for the outsiders. But they're all gone now, except Momo. Who the fuck is Momo? You can try to talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives high up in that building with the orange neon sign. Okay. Let's go visit Momo. Oh, they're playing a game. Or are they just moving things? Don't hesitate. Okay. The Guardian told us to talk to Momo up in the building. Yep. It's the only lead. Alright, let's go. So, if there are robots and B12 is... Oh, but he doesn't have his memories. That's right. Oh, basketball? I missed. I had one job. Let's go, little cat. What are they doing? Uh Please don't bother Vapora, she's so clumsy. It's Mito. I wanna knock over the paint! Oh. I wanna meet Vaporo. Careful, I need to focus. I don't want to drop another bucket. <laughs> Just griefing people. <laughs> Is this game just about terrorizing a bunch of robots? Oops. <laughs> Circles of light are pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. Momo. Dude, Momo's like their guy. Aww. It's adorable. Alright, where's this orange sign? Oh, oh, that's in here. Okay. Um, these buckets are so conveniently placed for 
someone the size of a, a, a small cat to get in to use his little elevators. Oh, it's Momo. Now he's got flamingos. Oh, he's so upset. It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey you, what do you want? Do you want to go to the outside? Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. I, it will bring you only loneliness and despair. All of his friends are gone. The fucking transceiver doesn't work. I, I want the notes, yes. Alright, Momo's done with the outside. But your friend out there... The Outsider's Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. Clement Clementine, Zabaltazar, Doc, and Momo. Okay. So stay away from the Zerks. Is that what the Magoos are? I'm gonna call them Magoos. Outsiders. Oh, look at that, it's a little photograph. Who's this man? Nah, whatever. I can't, I can't, I can't like control my cat. <laughs> he keeps her on. <laughs> no. I don't want to go that way. Does he get angry? Ooh, this is some pretty good music. What is this? Oh, it's a little ball. Go ball, go. So Momo's no help. Oh. Back home too. I don't think I've ever heard of that game. Uh, B12 misses the scientist. Alright, 7%. Alright, goodbye, Momo. The symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. Well, let's go there. Go, cat, go. Let's go, Nova. Out of the out of the bucket. Nope. Back up there. Oh, I guess I don't. I miss my other cat friends. I wonder if it's a coincidence that there were like four cats at the start and one's missing, and then there were four robots, and then the one stayed. Oh, it's a little sofa. The 
This music is a bop though. Clementine's notebook. An outsider notebook. Clementine's notebook. Everything is going according to plan. We managed to. Oh, okay. We managed to get to the upper level before the trans uh, transceiver went down. They're in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know this look. He will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. Yeah, Momo's a loser. He's just sad in his room alone. Nah, he's a nice guy. Cheap music. Okay. Oh, can I play some music here? No, I cannot. Alright. So, let's look for that symbol. I already found it. get there nope oh no not again <laughs> ventilation power supply ah they wouldn't be needing that now, would you? Time to go in. Oh, we love water. Alright, what are we looking for? Uh, who are these two robots? Nice work, another notebook. This one seems to belong to Zabaltazar. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in this city wasn't hard enough. Let's find the other notebooks. Alright. So, I guess the Magoos are Zerks. So they're gonna stay as Magoos. Where's the last one? So we just went there. So if we were in there, let's go up there. Yes, we found this logo, but this is the one we were just at. Get up there. I need an outsider logo. Bye, pot. I wonder if the guardian has any clues. One. This one there. One there.
Who are you? Zack. I left it in the streets, and the next day the Zerks had consumed it completely. They eat everything. Music sheet. Okay. All the weird stuff always happens. You mate, I don't dare to leave our village. It's too dangerous. It's the only one who can open the door. Hmm. Barterman Super Spirit Laundry Grandma Clothing Elliot Programming. Oh, that's my middle name. Who are you? Oh, poor robot. <laughs> Cosmo's angry. I don't like Cosmo. Oh, this is the old lady laundry. Or whatever it was called. Detergent. I want to use the detergent. I was trying to help. Alright, where do I take this? It's got to go somewhere. I don't want to go in there. I think I was just supposed to just grab that here. Swanito. Yeah, Momo was friends with you. And he's like, all my friends are gone. Poor Swanito. Alright. So. I got that. Oh, no, I got that one. So I gotta go there. Alright. I know where to go. Oh, what? I can use a vending machine? Speed drink. <laughs> I can watch TV. Follow the music. Spider web. I like how everything you can just use as a scratching post. That's pretty cool game design. important. How do I get it? Go in the stack of books. Oh, 
Hey Doc, I found the key to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Well, I think I know where the safe is, but I don't know how to get to the safe. Ah, oh, poor robot. How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human. Volume 42. So they're trying to be humans? I want to go up there. I know that's where the safe is. Oh. I regret my words. That aged poorly. Like milk. Keys, please. Give it to me. Who's Doc? After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Oh? There's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. So we do have to go back to him. What is that? glasses he doesn't seem to care about my meowing Hepter you do look weird and small but there's something about you I feel compelled to pet you but I won't because I don't understand why <laughs> okay Go back to uh, Momo. <clears throat> Let's go to Momo's place. Hello, Momo. Still looking for those useless notebooks? I mean, I want Doc's notebook. He was a really huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. He found Clementine's notes. She was really brave, you know, the most fearless person I've ever met. And then Zibaltazah. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Oh, what? The note. The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. I'm sorry I doubted our calls. I'll promise you I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find you a way up. Let's fix this pink chunk transceiver. Oh, this is the transceiver. So you said about that. Oh, poor Momo. His problem is he's using duct tape. Et voila, it works. Up there, see the building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of the tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. Our friends might still be out there. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Uh, okay.
Oh. Uh, alright. See ya. Aww. A little pause. Rooftops. Oh, there's the Magoos. Ah, oh, poor robot. Okay, so... Get up there. Yeah, look at me go. Ha! Ah, idiots. Um, where to? Where to? They can't get me up here, can they? Oh, they might be able to. Fucking Magoos. Peanut Magoos! Alright. Who? I keep seeing this woman. With the crown. She's gotta be someone important. The city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be the strict energy caps, especially in the slums. But people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamp neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope, and not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. Is that what the crown woman is? It was a way for people to see colors again, like on the outside. I think it helped. Okay. That's interesting. And boom, gravity. What do you want, cat? Goose everywhere. Nope. This cat can hack. <gasps> oh no. Alright. So they're in here. Alright, ready? Yeah. This puzzle ain't too hard. Where did these magoos come from? I still don't know what the Magoos are exactly, who the doc is, how the city got like this, where all the people are. This is really pretty though. Wow. Alright, let's see. What do we do here? This is not creepy at all. Oh. 
Human personnel only. But there's no humans. Okay. So. Zerg's there, Zerg's there. Need to get to that light. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Whew. All right. No Magoo's got nothing on me. All right, it's another door puzzle. I can't walk across that. Let's go B12. Get those vitamins. Necocorp. They were responsible for waste management. Necocorp. And I'm a cat. Cat is Neko in Japanese. But with a K. This trash from the upper levels overloaded the slums. They tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it all. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating way more tr than trash. Now we have the Magoos. So Magoos are trash. Let's go. Alright. Mutated trash. Trash monsters. Go, 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 go. Oh, my. I see, I see. So I need to use this, put it all the way here. Go, go, go. No, 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 no. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> oh. Where'd they go? Did they all explode? Oh. Okay. <gasps> nope, nope. They are not. Come here, come here. Oh, these Magoos are so stupid. Hey, come here. Talking to you. Hey, I'm walking here. They're bugged. Let's take a better look at them, though. These things are nasty. Can, can they not do anything? Could I just walk past them? Okay. All right. Don't mind if I do. Uh, oh my! Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh. Nope. That's a no for me. Magoo's up here. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh my. 
Uh, oh, hello. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. I want to use an item. I don't know how to do that. Oh, I'm so dead. Run away, cat, run away! Go, 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 go! Oh, this is terrifying. Oh, this is so not good. I wish I could hiss. Guess I <laughs> oh, that was terrifying. Okay, how do I use an item? Tab. Energy drink. Third from the left. Alright. Not even close. I just don't understand why the robots are scared of the Magoos, because they're robots. Oh, this city is walled in. The receiver on this antenna. Okay. This is one smart cat. Probably works for Neko Corp. Look at the view. It's beautiful from here. I remember now. The city. It was meant to be a shelter. The city was meant to be a shelter. With walls. The only lights marking the hermetic roof sealing off the city. So it's sealed on all sides. Humankind built the shell to protect themselves from the outside. But it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. It was a disaster. Barren, unlivable, and dangerous. What? I was on the outside. Right? My promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. What? What? Let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. Let's go. That's super convenient that there's just a, a bucket all the way over here. 